All right, well, what all of this has to do with postmodernism is that the postmoderns will argue that this entire vision is excrement. Right? It's all wrong. It is a fraud. It is a self-congratulatory patting oneself on the back story that the modernists will tell. Uh, and certainly the modernists were revolutionary with respect to the pre-moderns, but from the postmodern perspective, this whole story has been revealed to be a fraud by the time the modern world has been in a position to develop for a couple of centuries. What the uh, postmoderns will argue is that every single cell right, on this uh, uh, vision flowchart here uh, uh, has been revealed to be a fraud and that the pathological elements of it have dominated. Suppose we take, for example, the liberal uh, element here. The, uh, the, the modern world will pride itself on its commitment to freedom for individuals, commitment to extending the franchise, to gradually eliminating various barriers here. But what the postmoderns will argue is that this is not true if you look at pretty much anybody who is not a white male Anglo-Saxon and so forth. So what they will argue is that the promise of freedom that the Marxists, uh, sorry, that the modernists make is a fraud and what we find is that we are still in a society that is dominated by sexism, by males dominating females, by whites as a group dominating non-whites as a group, by those who have various kinds of of uh, ethnic backgrounds dominating all other ethnicities, right, and so forth. So what we have instead is a society that is riven with sexism, right, racism, and so forth. Okay. The claim of capitalism, right, that is going to generate huge amounts of wealth and that, uh, that property rights are going to be extended more broadly and economic liberty rights are going to be extended more broadly, that too, from its perspective, is going, has been revealed to be a fraud. Certainly there's been a great deal of wealth that has been generated here, but what the postmoderns will argue is that essentially the Marxist analysis is right on this score here, that what we have is uh, 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 an economic system that is characterized by a smaller group of people at the top, rich people, who have succeeded in co-opting control of most of society's wealth, and they are using it to advantage themselves at the expense of everyone else in society. That the technology that is promised, that the Mark Modernists will tell us uh, the good news story about all of these the technologies that we have, the cars, the airplanes, uh, and so forth, uh, the, the, the personal uh, uh, entertainment devices and so on. But the argument here is that all of this technology is in fact damaging human relationships with each other because what we have is, for example, uh, the development of nuclear weapons. And these are uh, nuclear weapons of various other kinds of high-tech military devices that are products of the modern world and ultimately what that's going to mean is human beings are simply going to be able to exterminate large numbers of other human beings and that they, these nuclear weapons are going to be tools that the rich people use, that those who are uh, in positions of cultural dominance to, to keep the other people in threat. That this technology that we're developing, our ability to drive our own cars, to have central heating, to be able to fly anywhere we want around the world, is ultimately uh, destroying the environment and so that the modern world is, is uh, self-destroying uh, uh, the, the world, but nonetheless uh, talking up a pretty story about environmental beautification and pretending to be green and so forth. That if we look uh, on, on the, uh, uh, the scientific institutions here that the modern world prides itself on, the, uh, the argument that many postmodernists will make is that scientific ways of thinking about the world, this emphasis on reason, on experiment, on analysis, on being able to do mathematics and so forth, that that way of thinking about the world is just one way of thinking about the world that perhaps some white males are proficient at, uh, but this is not necessarily the only way of thinking about the world and what the moderns are doing is being intellectually imperialistic, if we can use that language, 
in making the argument that everybody should bow down before science and that those who are the scientists and have the scientific knowledge, those are the ones that we should be putting up on pedestals and that the, uh, the, the, the claims uh, of the scientists are, are, are being allowed to eclipse various other ways of human beings trying to come to know the world and themselves. This individualism, the moderns uh, will, uh, will prize, they will argue, is a mask for what really is an ongoing uh, group conflict that human beings are not really individuals. Instead, we are defined by our cultural identities. We're defined by our economic background. We're defined by our sexual uh, gender roles. We're defined by our racial groups. We're defined by the various kinds of technological uh, uh, environment we find ourselves involved in. And that human beings really are group creatures constructed by the group membership that they have and all of this rhetoric about being our own individuals and thinking for ourselves. That is a, a fraud used to mask various kinds of group conflict. And then the fundamental point here, the, uh, the postmoderns will argue that this emphasis on reason, on the competence of reason, on our ability objectively to come to know the world, that all of that has been revealed to be a fraud and that instead uh, there's a the truth of the world, if I can use that language, is a kind of skepticism about the claims of reason, that reason uh, uh, comes up with various kinds of stories that it can tell of sort, uh, of course, but stories are really just stories. All we have really are a bunch of narratives, uh, and these narratives are subjective creations, in many cases group subjective creations. There's no one of them that we can ever figure out to be the true account of the way the world really is. So the argument then is going to be that everything that I've got in black is a better description of the way the world actually works. All of those things are the exact opposite of everything in the green. That is the self-congratulatory story that the modernists want us to believe about the world. But the truth is, if we can use language of truth in the, in the context of postmodernism, that everything in the green, this self-congratulatory story, doesn't actually end up in this happy story about the pursuit of happiness and progress. Instead, the truth about the world really is a kind of cynical truth that the world is really governed by power, that it's governed by conflict, and that rather than a happy ever after kind of story possible for us here on the world, instead the world is going to be one of ongoing zero-sum, win versus lose, this group versus that group, struggle, uh, powers for struggle, and so on.